CIEF on Maurice utilizes real-time whole column imaging, the ability to watch a focusing movie, see the peaks resolving in real time, and immediately identify any precipitation or aggregation issues shortens time to results, increases resolution, and greatly facilitates method development. Welcome to Module 3, How to Set Up Your First Charge Run on Maurice. In this module, we will cover the required reagents and consumables, peptide system suitability, sample preparation, reagent preparation, CIEF cartridge preparation, Maurice setup and after run cleanup. Okay, let's get started. To set up a CIEF run on Maurice using the peptide system suitability standard, you will need the items pictured here, which are contained in the Maurice CIEF method development kit. Using scissors, cut open the foil pack containing the eight strip tubes of system suitability peptide and cut one clear tube containing the lyophilized peptide from the strip. Return the remaining tubes to the foil package and return to the 4C storage. Add 40 microliters of distilled water to the tube and resuspend by gently pipetting up and down. To this 40 microliters, add 160 microliters of system suitability test mix. Again, mix by gently pipetting up and down, and then transfer the entire 200 microliter volume to a fresh 1.5 milliliter micro centrifuge tube. Vortex this tube to ensure everything is completely mixed and resuspended. Spin the tube at 10,000 times G for three minutes. Then, carefully transfer the top 160 microliters of solution from the micro centrifuge tube into a Maurice sample vial with insert and place a clear screw cap on the vial. Samples must be spun at 1,000 times G for five minutes to remove bubbles and to ensure that the entire sample is at the bottom of the tube or well. Your sample is now ready for loading in Maurice. Place the CIEF cartridge flat on the bench and remove the plugs from the analyte and catholite containers. Add two milliliters of catholite solution to the port labeled with OH- taking care not to stab the membrane contained within the reservoir. Next, add two milliliters of analyte solution to the port labeled with the H+. Replace the gray and red plugs into the appropriate openings. The cartridge is now ready to be loaded into Maurice. Maurice's door is opened by touching the silver plate on top of Maurice. Looking into the Maurice loading chamber, you will notice that the LED lights on either side of the opening for the cartridge are orange. These lights will turn blue when the cartridge is properly loaded into Maurice. To load the cartridge, hold the cartridge vertically by the finger holds on either side of the cartridge with the capillary inlet port pointing down. Take care to not bump or scrape the capillary inlet port in the process of inserting the cartridge. Insert the cartridge into the slot in Maurice. Keep pushing until the locking mechanism engages and the light turns from orange to blue. This indicates that the cartridge is properly loaded into Maurice. Load two milliliters of 0.5% methyl cellulose in a glass vial with a blue pressure cap into position one. Load 500 microliters of fluorescent calibration standard in a glass vial with a blue pressure cap into position two. Load two milliliters of distilled water in a glass vial with a blue pressure cap into position three. Load an empty vial with a blue pressure cap into position six. The last required reagent is a second glass tube containing two milliliters of distilled water with a clear screw cap and placed in position N1, the first position in the second row of reagents. Ensure that the 48 position block is inserted into Maurice. Insert your Maurice sample vial into the 48 position block in position one. With your cartridge, reagents, and sample loaded into Maurice, it is now time to close Maurice's door and get started with the software setup. Launch Compass for Ice. Click on the batch icon in the upper right-hand corner of the window. The word Ready should be displayed next to the Maurice icon at the upper left-hand corner of the window. Click File, New Batch, and select Maurice CIEF. In the Layout tab, ensure that the third icon displays a picture of two tubes, this is the icon for the 48 position block. 
If not, click the image of the 96 well plate to toggle to the 48 position block icon. Position 1 should be colored in orange to indicate that position contains a sample. If it is not orange, click on position 1 in the layout and click the Add button just above the images of the reagent vials. In the center of the window in the Injections tab, next to the number 1, Compass displays columns. Injection name, sample ID, location, method, and notes. The method is how the sample will be processed, and in this case, it should say System Suitability. Confirm that the light around the cartridge is blue. The reagents are all loaded in the correct places, and the sample is in place. Now, close the door on Maurice. Press the green start button and the CIEF run for the system suitability peptides will begin. At the end of the run, touch the silver button to open the Maurice door. Remove all of the reagents and samples and dispose of them appropriately. The light around the cartridge should now be orange. To remove the cartridge from Maurice, grab onto the finger holds and lift up slightly and pull back. Again, being careful to not bump the capillary inlet. After placing the cartridge on its side on the bench, use the electrolyte transfer pipettes to remove the analyte and catholyte solutions from the cartridge and rinse each reservoir three times with distilled water. After the third rinse, ensure that all of the liquid is removed from both reservoirs and place the cartridge back in its original container to dry. After approximately 24 hours, the gray and red plugs can be reinserted into the cartridge. CIEF on Maurice utilizes real-time whole column imaging, the ability to watch a focusing movie, see the peaks resolving in real time, and immediately identify any precipitation or aggregation issues, shortens time to results, increases resolution, and greatly facilitates method development.